It was on February 9, 1934, that a simple Texas fiddler named Bob Wills first took to the airwaves from the Keynes Ballroom over Tulsa, Oklahoma. Keynes has this incredible history that transcends musical forms, generations, styles. So Wills was almost single-handedly with his band responsible for this brand new hybrid of music that was happening in the 30s and 40s. We played pop, yeah, played country, yeah. we even played some hillbilly. We just played it all. He built a legacy that he himself couldn't top no other time in his life. What Wills did from Keynes is historically very, very important. I often wondered, take that away, rock and roll would have been reshaped or redefined or maybe not even happened. This place holds immense historic significance. <laughs> Just look around. I'm glad that it's been kept in beautiful order. They have a new floor here. This obviously isn't the floor that heels danced on to Bob Wills, but it's got the spirit of it. The pictures around the wall tell the tale of the people that must have played here, many of whom are among my favorites. We didn't expect to be playing in Tulsa, Oklahoma, uh, but then we heard a rumor the Sex Pistols had played here. There was such a buzz in the press about these guys that they just knew trouble would break out somewhere, that there'd be some blood and guts or, and there, or somebody would be arrested. It was like uh, jumping straight into the fire, but no better place to get a baptism than the Canes Ballroom. Of all the six or seven shows they ever played in America, they played at Canes. I say that says a lot for Canes and their diversity. And the fact that a great club always has the potential to reinvent itself with new music forms and new bands and new artists coming. They've been a very open-minded bar and helped a lot of different bands out. My dad is a singer, and I used to say, someday Sunday your name will be in lights. You may even play Kane's Ballroom in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Johnny Rotten and the Sex Pistols played here. Everybody wanted to work Kane's Ballroom. And I really didn't know what I had. I had no idea what U2 was going to do. You look at the people that have signed the walls, you look at the people that have put their fists through the walls. The list goes on and on. And for a kid from Oklahoma, this is our Carnegie Hall. You're in the inner circle when you play Kane's. That's where you want to be and what you want to do. I felt like electric because here we were playing on the same stage with Bob Wills and hundreds of great bands that played. The things that people bring to places do stay, just a little bit of residue, and it adds to the meaning of the place. Well, ZZ Top finally got it around to playing Canes in uh, the 90s, and uh, it's one of our favorite posters. Uh, it was produced locally in Tulsa, and uh, ZZ Top and Junior Brown. time I played there was the early 70s and then I played there in the mid 70s and then the, I, I guess every decade since then. Sex, drugs, rock and roll, I hate to tell you this, what happened out there on the floor doesn't even hold a candle to what happened in my office around, around my desk. Keynes becomes recognized in that subculture of rock and roll as a very hip, cool place to play. I just wonder what Bob Wills would have thought of it. Ah, yes. Tina, I'm making a movie. Call me back in about 10 minutes. <laughs>